happy Friday to all you survivors out there. Streaming Steve Spears on the airwaves here, and I will be broadcasting live 24-7 for the next three days as we approach the end of the world. Thank you, Cam. Whatever you want to talk about, feel free to give me a call. We can talk shit out, send messages to loved ones, or even just request your favorite apocalyptic tracks. How you holding up? I need a fucking drink. Won't do you any good. This is, of course, unless Hazel calls me. Hazel, I know you're out there, and I hope you're listening. Music brought us together once, and I know it will again. I love you, baby. They say we got three days left before Mother Nature turns on us for good, ending our stay on planet Earth once and for all. This isn't the universe stretching its arms out and rolling over in bed. This is the sheets being stripped and the mattress being changed. We're talking biblical stuff here, people. You're a good man. We got some news to tell you about your dad. Whether you're commuting, evacuating, or shacked up in your apartment, there are three things you should know as they didn't give me a goddamn chance. They saw I wasn't playing along like they wanted me to. They cast me out into the streets. They wouldn't let us back in. Oh, um, you're stubborn. And schizophrenic. But they didn't know that. We've all heard about the hurricanes down south. The devastating <clears throat> cause has been absolutely surreal. Governors in five states have now declared the state of emergency and are enforcing mandatory evacuation. Doesn't matter now anyway. Stood no chance since we got here. I shouldn't go to bed cold and hungry every night. In a similar story, the overwhelming earthquake out west last week has left millions missing or displaced. Many considering this to be the big one prophesized for so many years. Residents all along the coast have been left without food, water, or electricity. You can check with the U.S. Environmental Agency's website for a list of missing persons. And if you have any information, Please, don't hesitate to call. The streets are a goddamn death sentence. Today marks the first day of the U.S. border closure. The president announced early last week that the U.S. would halt aid for asylum seekers. Where flights have been able to take off and land safely, airlines are doing their absolute best to get people back to their loved ones. The president officially declared that all flights will be rounded starting Saturday evening. I found a roll of film. One last project? My swan song. So local news, New York Board of Elections has suspended any campaign activities for the upcoming New York City mayor candidates. E.W. Curry, the restaurant tour and real estate mogul, has had a contentious relationship with the board since he announced his candidacy last year. When he was asked about the board's decision, he spit in the face of a reporter and yelled a racial slur at her. He's held steady support in the race, but does it even matter? New York officials have insisted that people evacuate the city. Get off the island of Manhattan, people. But if you feel like sticking around, tune into WWHH for all your apocalyptic needs. It'll be the opening picture. First ambassador to a lost past. Special consideration here, Archer. Things we got to before you do our current circumstances. We are unable to accept your autographs for publication. We wish you continued success in Fuck. I gotta go. Zero.
Hello? You are going to help me though, Rocco. Yeah, man, come on in. Oh, shit. It's the film guy. Trevor. Cam. Cam. It's Cam. Cam. Oh, right, right. Sorry, man. I'm terrible with names. May I? Mm, mm. Of course. What happened to him? Oh, yo, he just took a big batch of brown sugar, man. <laughs> He's out cold. That's unfortunate. Yo, this is, um... No, no, you good. You good. <sighs> nah, he's pop-tarted right now, dude. <laughs> uh, just in the middle of rolling this joint. I'll finish up, and then we can do some business. You'll keep your word. What happened there? Oh, yo, dude. All this bullshit going on this weekend? I said to myself, what the fuck am I doing? You know, who are these motherfuckers trying to tell me when I'm gonna die? I said, I want control of my end, dude. I want control. You know, your life is truly in your own hands when you can take it from yourself. Makes sense. Anyway, I would have gone through with it, too, if this motherfucker didn't show up and drag my ass to the hospital. <sighs> the fuck, dude? Oh, last roll. Oh. Well, in that case... justice, no freedom, man. You know, now everyone's worried about me. You know, my friend's little sister's coming to check up on me. Like, <laughs> I don't need to be looked after. I need to be set free. It's just unbelievable, man. Sometimes when you want to be left alone, people just won't let you be. Jesus Christ, Dad. Coinage is coinage, brother. Uh, listen, Ed, take care of yourself. Don't let the world get the best of you, all right? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying, man. Go out and control, like full control, baby. <laughs> Excuse me, could I get a light? Thank you. Rough day? The usual. You? As long as people are around, I'm okay. That's one way of thinking about it. They'll kill you. And we shall perish together. Enjoy it.
The most popular man in New York returns. My dude. What's up, man? Come here. It's good to see you, man. Dude, it's good to fucking see you, my man. <laughs> I mean, I uh, haven't heard from you in a little bit. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been holed up. I haven't been uh, coping too well with the news. Yeah, dude, who is? Like, I'll tell you, I can't, I can't face the music either. So how much do you need? How much you got? <laughs> More than you need. Dude, everybody wants as much as they can get right now. So why don't you just come in, relax, would you like a beer? You got beer? Yeah, I got beer. Because I stashed up before everyone went out. Oh, my man, my man. Oh, hello. So you're Cam. Yeah. Nick says great things about you. Really? How's the rest of that cigarette? <sighs> Nearly kill me. Always does. I'm Katie, I'm Nick's younger sister. Nice to meet you, uh, officially. May I? You know, some people might find that creepy, taking pictures of random young women. <laughs> Are you a photographer? Tried to be. What happened? It doesn't matter. Sounds like it matters. Well, civility is hard to maintain in times like these. I lost my mentor. Well, he doesn't determine whether you're a photographer or not. I suppose, but uh, she determines whether I work or not. I could kill her for you. I already did. Hey, Katie, where's the bottle opener? I hear you carry a lot. Where do you get it? I spend too much time in musty rooms with dubious people. <laughs> Ooh, sounds dangerous. Let me guess. Rough upbringing. Mom and dad fought a lot, so you came to the city to try to escape it all. Only to get sucked into the underground world of the prescription drug trade. Oh, saving hookers from abusive pimps in your free time. A marked man just trying to see this whole thing through to the end. Always in survival mode with your enemies constantly breathing down your neck. Close. I was raised by my mom and my two older sisters. But uh, you'd be surprised at how uh, similar those two situations can be. Sounds like there's a lot of women in your life. Any room for me? Where the fuck did I put it? So, uh, what's your story? I have no story. Come on, everyone's got something. Dropped out of school. Arrived in New York the other day. All of this talk of the end and I figured I'd leave home. Little did I know that New York would be running low on food and supplies, and all that would be left would be coffee and prescription drugs. Regardless, I left after class a few weeks ago and never looked back. Well, I'm a college dropout too. High school. Oh my God. Death came early back home. It was a ghost town before I left, and I didn't want to sit around wallowing in self-pity, so. Motherfucker. I need other souls to cling to. Well, sometimes solitude is the best companion. Are you saying you won't be my friend? What I'm saying is I'm wondering if you're implying that Nick has a soul. There's something in everyone worth salvaging. Motherfucker! Uh, 
Nick, the bottle opener is in here. Did you not hear me yelling? I was yelling for five fucking minutes. Oh, Katie. Oh my God. Oh, it's right there. Thank you. Thanks. What? Uh, nothing. Um, so you guys met? Hey, Cam, isn't she just like a, like a bundle of joy? Yeah. <laughs> so how do you two meet? We met through Cam's girlfriend. Oh, I'd love to meet her. No, it's not really like that. She already left. A while ago. Hey, why don't we, uh, you know, get down to business? Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Awesome. How much? It's 50 a pill. Woo. What about for the whole bottle? You do not need the whole bottle. I do not need the whole bottle, but I do want the whole bottle. How much? Twenty five hundred. Phenomenal. Hey, I'm sorry, I gotta take this. What else do you have? I got anything you need that a doctor prescribes, but I do not sell to little girls. Little girl. Fuck you. I never had the chance to be a little girl. How much will this get me? Enough. Then I'll take enough. You sure your brother's gonna be all right with this? <laughs> Don't worry about my big brother. I take care of him, he doesn't take care of me. Hey, Cam. Here you go, my man. Should all be there. <laughs> Kim, why don't you stay? You know, have another beer. Can't. More customers. Not a lot of places have beer right now, man. Yes, I know. Too many customers, but... I'll walk you out. <sighs> nice meeting you. I'm sure I'll see you around. Hey, Cam? Yeah? I was wondering if you could possibly help me out with something. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are these rumors going around that there might be a way out of this mess. Yo, I don't listen to rumors yeah, anymore. I know. Listen, it's a community upstate, and they have a facility that they are charging a fee for. <laughs> you get complete access to their, uh, to their bunker, I guess. It's a bunker. A bunker? Yeah, a bunker, okay? A facility under the surface. And I have half the money. Okay, I do. I just need a little bit of help. And if you can help, then me, you, and Katie, we can all go together and just, just see if it's for real. Where did you get the first half? Why does that matter? You're coming to me, asking for my help, for my money. I'm gonna need some details. Okay, um, a couple guys who take themselves way too fucking seriously. The quicker we get the money, you know, the less likely we'll have to see them. Do you hear how this sounds? Look, I'm not giving you the money. Cam, if I don't get the money, I'm gonna be up to my neck and shit. Nick. Listen, I... Okay, what about Katie? What about her? She's got no place to go. If I'm gone... Can't let a girl like that on her own, man. Don't do drugs if you need the money. I can't help that. Okay, this is all too much to fucking handle sometimes. I need these. Look, 
I don't know if I want to live if the shit really hits the fat. Maybe you should call your parents. You don't know where the fuck they are, man. They're gone. They abandoned her. Fuck, I don't know if they ever cared about us in the first place. If you want to survive, you need to get out of this city. This is the worst place that you could possibly be. Oh, I, I'm sorry, but I'm not giving you the money, bro. But if you need anything, you call me, all right? How's this been going on? Mm, off and on for the past couple of days. So, how are you? Business is busy. I still have a ton of stuff, so I won't be bothering you for more. Eat. Have you talked to your mom? Not since Rachel left. Your sisters? Anybody? Not since Rachel left. There's just you. They've helped you kick this before, Cam. They can help you again. Now you're done with this place, huh? Yeah, I figure I just drive out northwest, see how far I can get until he catches up with me. Oh. In the event that this doesn't end up the worst case scenario, you should have this place. I always figured you were a true believer. I think we're moving towards something really terrible. Yeah. However, beautiful things can happen when the reset button gets hit. Are you a good person? I tried to be. I don't think I am. Cam, you've got good in your heart. You're gonna be just fine. No. You know, one thing keeps popping into my mind. So, uh, from when I was a kid, we were at this amusement park and my dad was still alive. So my whole family's there. And I decided to go and run off by myself. Must have been gone for hours. When they found me, everyone was in a panic. And it's only the other day that I thought how worried they must have been. You know, they thought they lost their boy. My dad was furious. I wonder what he'd think of me now. I think he'd be proud that you're a photographer. I'm not sure I can take any more of this shit, you know? All the fighting. All the greed, all the betrayal. This fucking weather. Shut the fuck up!
Fam, calm the fuck down. Let those people live their lives. Jesus Christ. Fuck. Cam, be that. Look, I know the pessimistic son of a bitch you can be. All right? But there's a lot going on in the world right now that you can draw inspiration from. I know it's not in the news, but it's there. And if I can pull some good from this, maybe you can too. All I know is that we have an expiration date and that expiration date is Monday. It's only a matter of time before this place gets flushed down the fucking toilet. Well. Maybe I'll stick around to enjoy this positive attitude a little longer. Get out of this fucking city. Plan to document what happens? They found paper remains in Pompeii. So, if the negatives survive, give the future something to dig up. Well, you're always pretty good at it. Hmm. Tried to be. Yeah, well, I get it. Yeah, but none of that matters now. I'm just going to spend the next three days coming to terms with what my purpose was. And what's that? You keep him numb until it's over. sisters since the news broke but we want to see you we know you miss rachel we know you're in despair if you
Hello? Hello, Cam? Yeah, who's this? It's Katie, Nick's sister. Nick's gone. They... They broke in and took him. I tried to call the police, but I couldn't get through to anyone. The police are not going to do anything. They said they're going to come back for the money. They said they expect me to pay now. So you called me? Who is Nick involved with? I don't know. He didn't tell me who they were. Whose blood? I cut one of them. Um, there's, there's a fresh towel and uh, clean water in the bathroom. You can go clean yourself up. never been hit like that before. I don't know what he got himself into, but Nick fucked with the wrong people. You have to help me. Um... Nick and I haven't seen each other in a while. Have you thought about asking his friends? You are his friend. You know what I mean. Would Ed know? <laughs> I don't know. You know these people. You and Nick run in the same circles. I have to find him. If you won't help me, I'll do it myself. I'm sorry, I can't. No, you're not. I need a place to stay then. I can't stay at Nick's. I guess I can stay with Ed. I'm not sure that's the best place for you right now. I guess that's not really your fucking problem, is it? Okay. Ed's it is. Don't buy fucking drugs with it. Don't give it to Ed. 
use it to get home. Is this how you get rid of me? You're no fucking help. See you around. Katie, we'll be okay, all right? Everything's gonna be fine. Mom and dad are gonna come back, and then, and then we'll be fine. We'll get out. And... Nick? And if they, if, if they don't come back, then, then I'll take you out of the city, okay? We'll go. Everything's gonna be okay, I promise. Nick. Yeah, it's too late. I needed your help. I couldn't. You could have. But now I'm gone. And I've left my kid's sister all alone, and now you're not even gonna help her. I was there for you, with Rachel. I don't... I don't know where to start. Cam, just do me this one favor, please. Hey man, do you mind? They got fucking nothing down there.
Leaving already? Oh, God damn it! Scared me. I was gonna call you, but I... I know you hate goodbyes. Showed up just at the right time. Lou, whose calling card is this? Where did you get that? I got a call from Nick's sister. She's beat up, and he's missing. Jesus Christ. I don't want any part of this. I saw this shit at your house. You're already involved in this. Which means you know where it came from. Now, you can either help me or not. But either way, I'm going to find out. Belongs to a guy named Curry. Curry. He's the slum lord that's making a run for office. I don't care about the politics. I just want to know where he is. I don't want you to get hurt. If you give these guys trouble and they want you gone, they'll stop at nothing until they see you dead. This girl has nothing to do with you, Cam. Just go home. Be with your family. Yeah. Cam. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. What you want to do it for me, right? It's too little time in life to be so angry. We're just gonna keep going with or without us. You be safe, eh? I always am. Hey, Olu. One last shot to remember you by? Of course. See you on the other side of the universe. Sign her up. Got a light? A lighter. Feed the fish? I talked to a couple people in your boat. Some simply yep. just don't believe. No, you didn't. Really yeah, you didn't clean the fucking tank out. I got you a dog. It all in there. We had to give the dog away. I got you a cat. I don't know where that went. I got you a turtle. Why do you gotta bring the pets up all the fucking time? Good evening, gentlemen. I couldn't help but notice that uh, you were smoking. May I? Yeah, I got you. So, you fellas from the city? Next <laughs> caller. Yeah, we're from the city. Uh, I noticed that you were, uh, you've been sitting out here for a while. Well, we're drivers. 
You're waiting on a passenger. That's perfect. You're uh, gonna put him in the back with all your trash. There you go. Who the fuck kind of fucking wise guy are you? Here, take these. Go ahead. Take the whole thing. No, don't keep them. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Sir. Why did you give the fucking matches the fucking away? Matches. We have a lighter. I keep the matches. You know I collect them. I know you collect them. We have a lighter. Do you understand the concept of a lighter? So what? The Black lighter has fuel. It has a thousand different matches in it. Matches. You don't What's have to strike. Why do you give everything away? They're fucking matches, man. Fucking asshole. Hello? Ed? Katie? Can I couch? Jesus Christ, you fucking scared me. Oh. So you decided to help find your friend then? Where have you been? I went to the Brooklyn Bridge to look for Ed because he said he was gonna jump. He called like 45 minutes ago saying to meet back here. Fuck. 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 Quickly, quickly. Get in the bathroom. Get in the bathroom. Come on. Fuck, let's go. They, going on? They followed you. They saw you come in here. They are coming up the stairs right now. Just stay in here until I come get you. Stay here. Money. You're gonna give it to him. See Spears back in the airwaves here. Authorities continue to encourage all Manhattan residents to evacuate the city. More threats have come in suggesting most exit routes out of the greater New York area are either at risk of attack or have already been compromised.
and many have already been hurt in the deadly bombing of the GW Bridge. As New Yorkers, we all know if you see something, say something. We got another call on you need to go here. home. What home? My parents left me, my boyfriend left me. All I have left is my brother. I just want to plead one more time to my wife, Hazel. I, I, I'm not even sure if you're listening. I know the universe. Katie, they left us with only one choice. You don't understand. We've looked after each other for our whole lives, and we promised that we always would. And, and finally, I'd like to make one last statement on the air before signing off. Even before we face the end, he said that he found a place for us to to get out of here, to survive. <laughs> We're going to get ourselves killed. I have nothing left. I have to find him. But there is no mysterious enemy. There is only us. We are our own enemies. Go look through history. Look at the hinge events and tell me, was this not our own doing? When we had the opportunity to do something, what action did we take? It wasn't simply inaction. And look where we are now. A direct result of our own complacency, our indifference. What's going to happen tomorrow? I don't have that answer. I don't think anyone does. But I had someone. Fell, it became more and more clear that this was no hoax. This was the end. I had someone too once. We had building towards this and we had brought ourselves to this very moment in time. With all the choices that life presents, you know. a very specific equation of those decisions led us directly here. At the end of the world as we've always known it. And there's not one goddamn thing we can do about it. We made this bed. Now we sleep in. But that leaves me with one choice, one opportunity to do the right thing. So Hazel, I am coming for you. I don't know where you are, but I got a couple ideas, and I'm coming. Because I love you more than life itself. So to all my listeners out there, I want to thank you for the many years of support. All I ever wanted in life was to play the music I love for people who wanted to hear it. Stay strong, New York. Be brave, Earthlings. I'll see you on the other side. Steve Spears. Signing off. Streets are a death sentence.
We have to find another place to go. Safe. The money is no good anyway. It's not about the motherfucking money, okay? Shit. That pill you gave me. No, it'll help calm you down, all right? Look, Lulu said that this guy's running for mayor. So, all we have to do is figure out where his campaign headquarters is and then we'll go get some answers. I shouldn't have taken that. Shit. Motherfucker. Hey, dude. I'm Ed. Yeah, I know. We've met many, many times. Oh, dude. Cam. Cam. <laughs> Katie called me, said she was here. Were you followed? No. <laughs> I went in and out about four apartment buildings before I came to this place. So. Oh. Uh, okay. What happened to your friend, the guy who was asleep in your house? He's dead? Nah, man. I'm worse. He went back to Jersey. Mm. 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 Speaking of apartments, would have appreciated it if you guys cleaned up after yourselves. There was blood all over my bamboo flooring. Um, actually, Ed, we were about to head out. Oh, so. you are. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Sam. You would not believe the scene on the bridge yesterday. The place was packed with jumpers. I couldn't even get a taste. Um, you got a light? The truth is, Dan, there is no goddamn control. At least not in this fucking city. I can't even kill myself. Hey, where are you going? Fucking bummer, man. What do you want, little man? You got any beer? Joy after bottle. Are you pouring? 
That's right. I'll take a bottle, thanks. Enjoy. Cheers. You look lost, stranger. Uh, oh, no, I'm just, uh, I'm looking for somebody who comes here a lot. Somebody who comes here? I'll come anywhere you want, sugar. But it's gonna run you about 50 bucks. Oh, mm -mm. no, no, <laughs> dear God, uh, no. Ma'am, I'm just looking for a guy named Curry. Bothering my regulars? No, I'm just looking for Curry. What do you want with Mr. Curry? He's got something that belongs to me. I knew you'd come. Please, sit. I need some answers. Answers to what? Where's Nick? Where did you take him? I need to know. Who? What do you mean, who? Nick. Young, privileged white boy. Yesterday at his apartment, uptown. Wait, I've seen you before, haven't I? We should do this again sometime. This was fun. Ugh, you've got a lot of fucking balls showing up here! You fuck up my friend! Give me one good reason why I should not dismember you right here, right now! I just want to talk. Curry. I want to know what happened to Nick, and I want my motherfucking safe back. I catch you snooping around here one more time. I will not hesitate to dismember you. At the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up or press pound for more options. Dad, it's Katie. I don't know where you and mom went or why we can't find you. But if this is the end, I just want you to know that I hope it If this is the end, I hope it comes to you first. And if it's not, then... Um, I hope I never fucking see you again.
Katie, it's me. Oh my God, what happened? Where have you been? Kim, what the fuck? Where do you think? Why did you go without me? What is this, about the safe? No. Okay, well then what the hell is it about? Look, I'm getting out of this fucking city. Something I should have done a long time ago. Oh my God. But I stayed so that I could risk my life looking for Nick. Nick is my brother. He's all I have left. Katie, Nick is dead. Don't you get it? That's the only explanation. Did you see him? I didn't see what? shit! Hey, so... Look, Ed, come on, man. You can't fucking stay here. Get your fucking lazy ass up. Come on. Cam, if you didn't see him, then he might still be alive. We can... I don't even know why I agreed to help you. Fuck you, Cam. Fuck me. Me. Fuck you. All right? Fuck you. Come on, Ed. Let's go. Ed. Yo, Ed, my dude. Last call. Let's go. Yeah, well, you are a lousy, no? You troll. Goodbye, bro. Ed. He's dead. Hey, get out! Get out! You said you wanted to leave, get the fuck out! What? God! <laughs> Everyone else has given up, and now you, you fucking junkie! God, I should have expected it from the one guy who's given up on everyone and everything in his life. You're fucking useless. No wonder that girl left you. It's not even like that. Oh my God, just take your shit and get the fuck out, okay? Is Cam? We got your girl, kid. It's in your best interest to come here and pick her up. Quick. She's a pain in the fucking ass, and if she doesn't shut up soon, I'm gonna twist her head off and eat her organs. You know where I am. I don't fucking believe it. Where's the girl? Back for more? Okay.
I have to know that my friends are safe. Nick's dead. I don't think you've made it out of the apartment building, did you? <laughs> I think not. Took him out, threw him down every single stair in that building. I need Katie back. <sighs> he killed that guy. Why should I give her back? The big guy's friend? Died in his sleep last night. She doesn't deserve this. Maybe you're right. Maybe she doesn't. I heard you a photographer. My sheep? No. <laughs> heard you were headstrong too. To a fault. See, I had a friend tell me a couple of things about you. I heard that you were a corrupt prick. Depends on who you ask. Where is she? Be patient, Cam. Right now, it's you and me. Oh, and my latest tenants. Oh. They're workers. They don't stop until the very end. Respect that. You've been a real thorn in my side these past few days. We just wanted to get Nick back. Well then. Lulu told me that your girlfriend killed herself right in front of you. She overdosed. Same shit. You were there. A junkie's death is self-destruction, no matter how you want to cut it. Hear that, little lady? friend here doesn't have a real good reputation for keeping the people around him safe, does he now? Wouldn't want these to get out in public. Just because civilization's gonna end doesn't mean that I'm going to. So tell me, Cam. Give me one good goddamn reason why you and that poor helpless little girl over there should walk out of here.
poor helpless little girl. Give me one good goddamn reason why you should walk out of here. Give me back my safe. Money's mine, kid. I don't give a fuck about the money. Give me back my safe. All right, then. I think that can be arranged. And this is what you're looking for? Katie, let's go. Cool. 